Hey, 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 guys. Wanted to go over the parts I've got to start working on the transmission. Nothing major. But we've got a brand new pan with a actual bolt in it for a drain plug. Now, the reason I buy a new pan, I'm sure a lot of you say, hey, why not just reuse it? You want a flat matting surface and over years people torque these down and bend these flanges on them. So I always like to get a brand new pan, especially since, like I said, I like to have one that has a drain plug on it. So I don't have to take this off anytime I need to do something or drain the fluid. Um, brand new filter because, well, if you're going to take the pan off, let's put a new filter on. Obviously with Mopar, it's only three uh, screws and it goes right on so it's real simple this is the big one the lube locker premium differential and transmission gaskets I use these all the time on my cars because one they're supposed to be reusable but the big thing is they're no leak gaskets you just put them on dry they have a little seal around them that compresses and you don't have leaks and of course I've got new bolts and that's similar to with the pan and the bent flange. A lot of times people strip these bolts out. So I like to get new bolts. But yeah, that, that's today's to get. That just showed up from Summit. So I'll be putting those on here in a little while. And I got some more parts showing up tomorrow. I got new tie rod ends uh, and new shocks that will be here tomorrow. So that's going to be a, another day of work. So just wanted to kind of go over why. I'm going to be using all this stuff instead of, you know, just reusing everything. So, either way, let's get to it. Let's get this stuff installed. Guys, about to put this back on. Like I was telling you about the lube locker, it's got the built-in everything, so you just dry fit it and you're done. So about to put this on there with some new bolts, except for the front, uh, which requires two bolts to hold on. They're longer bolts to hold on the shifter mechanism in the ha in the car. So, yep, let's get to it. Alright guys, that sucked worse than I thought it would, but we got the new pan in, torque spec the way it's supposed to be, had to use most of the original bolts, except for one on this side, this one over here, and then the one on the other side, I used the new bolts with three washers because it was stripped out, so I had to get a little more thread, the, the bolts I bought were all too long, so that's why you got three washers on there and it's a little longer than these which gave me some thread to be able to torque it down. And of course we've uh, got the drain plug tightened up, uh, hopefully enough to where it won't 
cause any issues, but boom, we've got a new new pan on. It's nice, shiny, looks good. It says Torque Flight 727 on it. So Summit's racing one with that lube locker gasket. So probably need to clean it up a little bit underneath here. Uh, you know, that way we have a better way to identify what's leaking if we still see leaks. Uh, there was a lot more transmission fluid in it than I expected, to be quite honest. But, hey, you know, at least that means I wasn't running it dry or anything, so. But, uh, alright. Happy that's on there. I was a little scared when the, those bolts were stripped out, so. But like I said, a little bit longer bolt. Three, uh washers on it to uh, make sure it wasn't too long and boom we got it torque spec down so and with our new gasket hopefully that's nice and sealed so all right peace all right guys so you need to get these tie rod ends all off so i'm gonna start working on that um the go it's been a good week and not a drip has come out so uh yeah so anyway, it's time to start removing the tie rods and getting the steering stuff going. All right, guys, got the new tie rod ends in, still loose. So, I mean, I still got to twist and adjust um, to get the wheel straight. I also need to torque the castle nuts down and then put the cotter pin in uh, in its final position. I did bend these ones, uh, but I can unbend them real easy to take that cotter pin back out. So same thing on this side. The wheels aren't straight right now. So I need to drop them down on their own weight, and I've got some uh, alignment things to use. And then, uh, like I said, I need to torque these ones down as well, and then get the cotter pin in the final position, and then twist these to the desired position, and then tighten these bolts up. So they're good. Unfortunately, I see some leaking on the transmission that I didn't see earlier. It seems to be coming out of the bell housing, so that's no bueno. So... But, that's it for the night. Just wanted to get that started. And I may come out here tomorrow and finish this up. But uh, we'll see. Work's been crazy, so I've been trying to put in some extra hours. Later. Hey, hey guys. Now, I came back out here uh, yesterday. Um, it's actually now Saturday, so it's been a busy week. But I came out here and I torque spec all my tie rods down to 40 foot-pounds and got them put in place now we need to get our toe in set right so what i'm going to do i've got this bar attached to the wheel and i need to get it straight with the back wheel that way we have a a straight uh start point and i'm using this laser level and i'll beam the laser over to this box and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark the top where i'm on the edge of this rim that way i can consistently keep putting it back in the same place and I'll go front to back and the reason I'm going to do that is when you have an angle on your front wheel from here to here it's going to vary uh, with the laser light so I'll mark my initial spot on the front with a sharpie and then when I put it back here it'll be offset and you just keep on moving until you get them both in the same spot so that's generally what I'm going to do, and that'll get me straight with this back wheel. Hopefully the back wheel is straight. Now, I do have bigger wheels in the back, so to 
to deal with that, that's why the laser level is actually on the side of the metal bar instead of the top. So that allows me to get past the rubber of the wheel and do this. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to get this wheel straight and then what we'll do is we'll measure front of the wheel and back of the wheel on the bar to the other side to get the other side to match up straight. So, all right, time to get to work. All right, guys, it worked the way I hoped for the laser. I was trying to measure from front wheel to front wheel to get them both the same, but the undercarriage of the car was just getting in the way too much. And it's just me, so I just did the same thing on the other side. Pretty happy how it turned out. Now, let's just talk about this. This is just a baseline a way to get your toe in set. This is, I mean, you can probably dial it in a little bit better, but this is basically to get you to the alignment shop to get your toe in set properly. That way you're not too crazy off. So, but I mean, it is definitely a good way, especially if you've got level floors and stuff like that. And, but uh, I'm happy. It's a lot better than me eyeballing it. So that's the kind of thing what I was going for. But uh, I'll have to torque down those sleeves to, I think, I believe, five pounds. I'm going to go double check that. And then uh, I'm going to proceed to put new shocks on here. So, all right. we got our test drive in the steering is good now uh, I mean it probably still needs the tow set properly um, but it, it does drive pretty good now as far as that goes uh, the transmission on the other hand is leaking uh, it's leaking out of the bell housing um, or you know the torque cover so that's a big issue so I'm gonna probably have to have the transmission pulled probably replace the torque converter and the seals so before this really drivable drivable um but all in all i mean it's a good car that kind of sucks but um yeah we'll see what happens next so i got to figure out what i want to do there and um go from there so peace out I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never changed, baby